create a trading platform in Python part 9. In this video we will add the ability to send a bracket order. A bracket order gets you in the trade and sets a profit target and a stop loss. When either one is triggered the it cancels the other one. Oh and I have video demonstration of this on a previous video that I did. If you're not sure what a bracket order does or what one is so you might want to watch that one first. Okay, let's get started. First thing I want to do is change this thing here, this notebook, which is basically a, a tab frame or a tab panel, whatever you want to call it. Call this bracket order. Now this says bracket order. I'm going to put all the uh, widgets on this tab to do our bracket order with. Okay, the next thing you want to do is do your widgets. So at the bottom of where you create your widgets, you're going to add this um, code. Okay, paste that in here. Okay, so you create a label, a title, and then you create um, four more labels for the symbol, limit price, quantity, order type. Then you create a comma box for the symbol, a spin box for the quantity, share amount, and one for the limit price. And then you do the order type. Uh, it can be either limit or market and then you do a few more labels one for the distance percentage and one for the price and then you add another label you take profit and one for uh, profit percentage you uh, create an entry box and then another entry box for the price profit in row 5, you create a label for stop loss and then an entry box for the percentage of your stop loss from where you entered. And the same for the price stop. In row 6, you create a button for the sell button and one for the buy button. Um, then you had a, have an Another three labels, one for the bid price, the ask price, and the last price. And then you do the entry box for each. Okay, so. Oh, another thing is you want to put these uh, variables in there too. Text variables, make sure those are in there. So they're needed for the putting the information in the boxes and retrieving the information from the entry boxes. And so you can go down to the bottom and we got to enter a bunch more variables. Okay, these are all the variables you want to put in. One for the symbol, one for quantity, one for um, limit price, one for order type, one for profit percent, and price profit, and one for stop percentage or price stop, and one for the last bid and ask prices. Okay, back up here in your um, widgets area. Where is it? On this um, combo box symbol bracket thing, we put the symbol. We need the, um, the method that we call. We need to put that in there. So 
Okay, we'll create that now. Okay, and we'll put that in here somewhere. I guess it doesn't really matter where, but... Okay, first of all, it um, cancels the account updates and then cancels the market data if you had some of that before previously. Um, this just um, changes it to uppercase. This gets the, the symbol from the, the entry box. And this gets the values from the drop down um, combo box thing, the list. And this selects all of them. This tests um, whether there's values in the drop down box and if it doesn't appear in the box then to add it basically. And this gets the symbol from the entry box and this requests the data for that symbol and the account updates. So you need all that in there. So when you hit enter on your symbol box when you say type in Facebook or Starbucks or whatever stock symbol this method will be called so you can get the um, streaming data for the last and bid and ask prices okay so I'll show you what it looks like now Okay, I need to add another thing in here. I need to add the um, method to call when you hit the one of the buttons, the, the bracket sell or the buy buttons because they're not appearing on my form. So I need to put those in there. And so if you go back up to your, where you create the buttons, this button here it calls a method called bracket sell and bracket buy. So I got to put those in there. Okay, I wanted to show you the error I got um, when I last run the program. It says object has no attribute bracket sell, which just means that there's no method there for bracket sell. So that's attached to the button, the sell button. So I'm going to create that now. Okay. I'm going to create one for the um, buy and one for the sell. So I can put that, I guess, anywhere in here. So basically, it gets all the information from that um, notebook in the form. The symbol, the quantity, the order type and the limit price and does that for the buy and one for the sell button okay so then i'll run it again okay so everything's appeared the way i want it now anyway let's continue on so we got to make those methods for when you click on the boxes, the click events. So I got to make a method called entry last bracket click for each of these. And I'm passing an argument which is one, two, or three. One just represents the bid price, two represents the ask price, and three would represent the last price. So that gets passed on to the method. Um, so I'll create the method now. And we can put that method in here, or a function, if you want to call it a function. Same difference. Make sure your indents are correct.
So when you click on one of those entry boxes, it'll call a method. And based on the number, it'll put that number in that entry box. So if you recall from our form, if I run this, go to your bracket order, and just type in a number. And then you click on that box here, it should put the price in the limit. Just like that. Same with the last. And the bid. Okay, so I'm going to put a method in here that will be used in the method for creating a bracket order. So this will be used to create all the orders and it will be slightly different um, attributes than the previous one here, the create order one. Um, it will have parent ID and transmit in it and time and force, so I'm going to make a separate one. You could use the um, same one and add those few things in there, but then you'd have to change all the uh, other orders when they call this. You'd have to add a few things to pass along, like a blank string, but uh, I'm not going to do that, so I'm going to make my own, a new one. Okay, so I'm going to put that right below this one. It's called create order bracket. So I'm passing the information from the bracket order that I'm going to be creating. I'm going to be creating three different orders. One to enter the trade, one for this profit target, one for the stop loss. And the things I'll need are order type, quantity, action, which is I guess buy and sell, limit price. The auxiliary price is used for the stop. The parent ID is used for the first order. And the time and force is like if it's a day or a good to cancel order. And transmit is whether it's transmitted or not. And the only thing that is set to true is the last um, order that you send, which would be the, I guess, the stop loss order. It's set to true to transmit. And when it transmits, it'll transmit the rest of them or trigger the rest of them. Okay, I'm going to end the video here. I'm going to do a two-parter on this subject, um, this uh, bracket order, because i got to change a few things, this tick event here, and add a few other things, and do the um, actual method for the bracket order, and explain that in detail. So please like and subscribe, share with friends, comment, go to my website sharpertradingimage.com and get the code code that we have already done so far up until now thanks for watching until next time bye